Throughout the pandemic, many of us have relied on third parties to deliver takeout from restaurants. But in some cases, it hurt businesses more than it helped. Andrew Horansky explains how one community now plans to fix that. When the pandemic struck, restaurants scrambled, turning to delivery apps such as Uber Eats, Grubhub and DoorDash to stay afloat. But the reality is it stung. While we did get some sales, we gave it all back in terms of extra fees. Rick Duty owns a Lindy's Lake House and says service charges can cost him as much as 30 percent per order, meaning if you spend $50 at Lindy's, he'd only get 35. And it's difficult to, for us as small little restaurant guys to kind of um, to be able to, to make that business model work. And why would they even try? Kevin Brassler, executive director of the nonprofit Consumers Checkbook Organization, believes many simply didn't have a choice. Restaurants, they're using these services. They feel like they have to because this is the only way to survive is to participate with these services and pay in. The way around this is to make sure you're placing your order with your restaurant, either call it in or use their own website to do it. All of your money goes to support that restaurant. Well, tonight, the city of Beachwood believes there may be another way too, confirming they're launching a new program called Beachwood Delivers next week, contracting drivers at $20 an hour to take meals from Beachwood's restaurants to its residents and businesses free of charge from four to eight each night. Their question was, how can we help? They called me out of the blue and said, how can we help? Lindy's will be on the list along with at least seven others, including Hyde Park and Giovanni's, all in an effort that could keep costs down for everyone. Tonight I spoke with the head of the Ohio Restaurant Association who applauded the move, saying that the city of Dayton is actually planning something similar, showing how communities can pull together in tough times. I'm Andrew Horansky, 3 News.